Hey guys, Riveted here. Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. I hope everyone is enjoying themselves. I hope the week is going well. I hope that you're happy and safe. So yeah, yeah, everything's good. I actually had a really, really, really fun day today. Uh, work has been interesting. Still doing the training. Uh, gonna have a really interesting week for work this week because of things. Um, training is going through to Friday. Then I have Saturday off and then I start work again on Sunday. Um, but then I'll have a three day weekend coming up after that. So I will take that. I will take a three day weekend over taking a, a regular weekend. So I'm gonna have to DJ on Saturday. And then get up and go to work Sunday. Which is not going to be the end of the world. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be tired anyway, so might as well work on the phone. So, it's like, yeah, whatever. Uh, but, again, like, the benefit of having a three-day weekend. Yeah, I will happily take that on. And after that, it looks like I'm going to get weekends off for the next month. So, I'm more than happy with it. So, everything is good. Hello, moves. Thank you very much. I um, had a uh, friend of mine call me up today. We ended up chatting on Facebook for hours. Hours and hours and hours. Um, we, we've we been friends for God. I'm trying to think now. 12 years? 11, 12 years. Um, you know, good friends. And um, she's a great DJ. Uh, been a fan of hers for quite a while. And... Uh, just out of a clear blue, she just kind of hit me up. We just yacked and talked and, you know, got caught up and everything. It was delightful. Um, always fun hanging out and chatting with folks that are similar-minded, you know. Um, she's just as weird and goofy as I am. Uh, into the same, you know, music scene as I am, obviously. And, um, you know, talked about movies and TV shows and things. She doesn't like video games. Um, but we have respect for it, so yeah, it was great. It was just, I think we ended up spending five hours chatting today. Like, it was just, like I said, absolutely delightful. I'm in a great mood. I had to sign off and say, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I got stuff to do. I gotta record some Cube World. She had no idea what I was talking about, but when I said to her that I, you know, I have over 6,000 subscribers on YouTube, she understood that. <laughs> so... It, doesn't understand the gaming side of it, but you know, and it, I get that it's not for everybody. Let's shoot you, Spitter. I mean, there's gotta be something that wants to die. But yeah, it's been a good day, really good day. New trainer at work today too, so uh, she had really good energy. So a lot of stuff that we're covered. Um, we're going over a lot of things that I already know, um, because of. The role that I've taken on, I already have had a lot of this training because of the things that I've already done. It's just a refresher for me, but it's not for some of the folks that I'm working with. Uh, so it's more along the lines of just making sure where they are with everything. So that in case that they need help, you know, because that's what my job is. is like they call me for assistance and I give them help. So now that I'm in the training class with them, if they call, I know exactly, you know, what has been taught, where some of the weaknesses lie. You know, it's just that kind of stuff. It's just, you know, I enjoy this stuff. Um, you know, I and I don't mean weaknesses in a negative. I mean, everybody has their abilities when it comes to learning and being trained. Um, you know, some people grasp some of it better than others. Um, some f folks get overwhelmed. Um, and you can tell usually by the questions that are being asked in class uh, where some people stand. Um, you know, but again, none of it's terribly difficult. I'm not expecting there to be, you know, big issues or anything. But it's always nice to uh, be in the training with folks. Now, I'm not seeing... This looks like a place where maybe... We'll put one there. Yeah, that definitely has a different look to it than the others. And I would be correct. Purple, because that's exactly what I needed. Okay, well, hey, we got something. Better than nothing. Can I hop on my damn turtle? That's all I want to do. I didn't want to shoot fireballs. I wanted to hang out with my turtle. Dang it. Anyway. Um, yeah, things are good. I've been uh, tired. <laughs> uh, so, <clears throat> I mentioned uh, my friend the DJ. 
Uh, she DJs on Monday nights. Um, she does the Twitch thing as well. And so I usually enjoy watching her streams. And I, you know, I, I, I usually will sit at my desk, you know, and, and listen and watch. And, you know, I'll do stuff in the background and have the music playing and, you know, keep up with chat when I can. But it's like, I'm not, um, I'm not there for the, the interaction in the chat. I'm there for the music and to hang out and, uh, you know, poke at my friend every now and again. Um, and, you know, put in requests and that kind of stuff. But most of the time, I'm just sitting there listening to the music uh, in the background. Uh, so last night, um, you know, I, I put on the stream. Because I got done work at 6. I was like, yeah, I'm going to just sit here. So I went and I got this nice, um, yeah, it's just like a, almost like a rocking chair. It's just a comfy chair. Um, and I just sat in it. And I just, you know, put my took my glasses off. And just sat there and just, you know, closed my eyes and was listening to the tunes. And the next thing I know, it was 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I started at like 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I had fallen asleep. Not just a little bit. It was it was a full-on, oh my god, I'm falling asleep. And, um... But when I fell asleep sitting up... Well, both of my legs had fallen asleep, and my ass. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't know that your ass could fall asleep, it can. And I proved the point by having it happen to me last night. So four o'clock in the morning comes along, and I have to go to the bathroom. Both of my legs are asleep, and my ass. So I was like, stood up, and it's just nothing but pins and needles. Like my feet feel funky. Everything feels weird. I'm like, this is not a healthy feeling. So I light, laid down <laughs> on the ground and just laid there for a minute and let the blood flow in my uh, in my legs just so I could, you know, get the feeling back into it again. And uh, I still had to go pee, like, really, really bad. So I crawled into the bathroom and got up on the toilet and sat down. And I was just like, and I went to the, to, to the bathroom. I was like, man, am I getting old? <laughs> Where... You know, this is what's happening. I fall asleep listening to my friend DJ, and I have to crawl my ass into bed because I don't know how to, you know, not fall asleep in the middle of the day type of thing. It was fun, though. I mean, it was delightful, and I have no complaints. And I thought it'd be, well, an anecdotal story for folks to laugh at for Rivet of, like, yes. So if you want to picture an old man sitting in a chair with his legs and ass falling asleep, feel free. That's exactly what happened to me last night. So I do know what that image looks like, and it's not great. <laughs> but it was funny. I thought it was funny. I shared it with my friends. Because, you know, it's like, who doesn't like to make an ass of themselves? I mean, I personally do. I I, I don't have... I, obviously, I don't really believe much in filters and keeping things away from, you know, my life. Because I, I think life is fun. I think it's silly. And... Uh, crank up my volume here a little bit yeah I think life is fun and silly and I like sharing the silly whenever I have an opportunity so and you know if you can't poke fun at yourself who can you poke fun at because it's not fair to poke up fun at others so that's why I usually do that self deprecating thing I'd much rather laugh at myself than laugh at others and if they want to laugh along with me that's fine too because if I make the joke who, who's, go who's gonna hurt <laughs> me <laughs> I can't offend myself I mean, I could try to offend myself. I would be hard pressed to. And a lot of folks, uh, you know, I, I, there are friends. I'm like, you know, you have free reign. Say what you like to me. I'm good. You know, if you need to vent and you know yell and scream in frustration, go right for it. I'm going to be good. You know, a little heads up sometimes would be nice, but you don't have to. This is a lot of shit. And I've already cleared this area out, and it's nonstop. There's a lot of Cult of Doom. These guys are just in dire need of help. Somebody's drinking. We got another... What do we have to do here today? Nothing really major. We're just wandering. I'm going to walk along this pathway. And then if we find stuff, great. Like we just did. If we don't, great. I don't care. Um, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not hard-pressed to figure 
anything out today. I'm just enjoying... Like I said, I'm in a really good mood. I had a great time hanging out with a friend, and that was great. Watch some really fucked up videos. Um, if you guys don't know who William S. Burroughs is... Um, an American author. Um, really interesting man. He was, uh, you know, n no, not a bash it or anything. He was a junkie. Uh, had drug addictions and um, in the midst of one of his hallucinations, I think he killed his wife. And like, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So there's a movie and a book called The Naked Lunch that uh, he wrote. Uh, but he worked with a bunch of interesting artists throughout his years, too. Um, so, Michael Frente, who is... Uh, mm -hmm, the Something of hypocrisy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, he worked with Throbbing Gristle, um, and then also with Michael Frente. And it's he has a lot of like interesting beat poet type of things and subject matter is just right up to lunch um because again this is a man who as a junkie who has seen all kinds of things and has dealt with his addiction publicly and um yeah but just putting his spoken word to hip-hop or to an industrial music beat like throbbing gristle if you've never heard of them whoo man oh man they are ooh. Probably one of the most avant-garde bands I've listened to. I, I like, I like music that makes your brain sweat and itch. Like I really appreciate that kind of stuff. I've always enjoyed experimental music, um, and I like I, I like experimental film, um, the whole nine yards. I like things that make you want to think and like make you get out of your comfort zone. I think that's something art should do. Um, if it makes you comfortable, then I don't think it's doing you justice. But depending on the art, some art should be comfortable, but a lot of it should make you question your own sanity, your own reality. That type of stuff. Um, the things that I enjoyed most when I was, well, as, as a person who is an aficionado of the arts, I do enjoy surrealism. Um, I like the abstract art. I like, again, things that were not just, oh, this is going to be painted just like a picture. Um, to me, as beautiful as it is, it didn't... It, I My art needed to make me feel or think something other than just, okay, it was a, a perfect reproduction. Um, and again, nothing against the talent of folks that were able to do that. I, I, I absolutely respect the talent of artists. Like at no point am I belittling anybody, but you know, like I said, it's my thing of what I appreciate and what I think art should be, and that's it. It's just my own interpretation of it. Um, but yeah, the um, Burroughs as an artist uh, definitely did not uh, pull any punches. Um, yeah, so uh, we we sat and we watched a bunch of. Um, Videos and there was also a um, uh, short film directed by uh, Francis Ford Coppola, uh, "The Junkies Christmas," which is a messed up tale, but it's amazing. Um, and it was done in, like claymation, and again, it's you know fun beats going on with interesting claymation mixed with live action and puppetry, and very risque tale about basically dealing with addiction during the holidays trying to get a fix um, again not your normal fare but you know when you're looking for something interesting t to wrap your brain around uh, that was a, a fun thing to, to watch it was like 20 minutes long it's not terribly long um, filmed in 95 if my memory serves so uh, it's a little older look at this bag of gold you gotta have a bag of gold Okay, there was stuff here. I saw that there was a village over here and stuff, so we're gonna go. Um, we should do this though. If it was an, an issue, we needed to make some. Oh, sorry. 
was having a glass of, uh, I need iced tea. Oh my god, is it so good. I have um, a tea that I bought a while ago, and it's like a mango black tea. And um, I was drinking it before when the pandemic first started. And then, for whatever reason, I stopped. You know, whatever. Uh, grew out of favor in my brain. So it was just not needed. Okay, let's hop on the damn thing. Um, ooh, sanctuary here. Okay, well, we will take this on. I mean, I can't think it being too terribly difficult, but you know, we'll see. Oh yeah, this is this is rough. Okay. Did we take care of everything there? Yeah, we did the whole thing. That was um, that was rough. Weird day. Yeah, we've got a village here. I gotta go buy some bottles. Um, yeah, I don't know what's been going on, but there is some kind of weirdness happening in the universe. Um, Armor and I have just been kind of feeling out. Like, like I've been really in good spirits the last little while, and then all of a sudden the other day, just meh, just a case of meh. And it, like it seemed like it wasn't just me and him; it was a bunch of us were feeling like it was just like a wave of, you know, and and just like everything has been going on, just having like a wave of melancholy just nail us, and it was just out of nowhere. I'm like, what in the fuck happened with the universe? Um, I don't know if anybody else is feeling, but the last few days have been a really wonky. Uh, today is better. Um, it didn't feel great earlier. But it's been getting better as the days progress, so I'm very happy with that. Um, are you the one? Nope. It's over here. This is the one. I have to have something. I did. Oh god, crap leftovers. Okay. Nothing of any importance here. So we're good. We're golden. Uh, I need to buy some bottles. Starting to get a little bit of a headache. Had a long day of, of, of TV. Or my brain is like, I had a lot of screen time today. So I need to take a breather from it. It's so much fun too. It's like, <laughs> hang with my friend and we're like, she was eating her dinner, I cooked dinner, and then, you know, we're still yakking. <laughs> uh, just doing it over Facebook, which is like, I don't like Facebook very much. Like, I got it years ago. Kind of like when I was bartending and was a DJ, the manager of the club that I worked at kind of said, Oh, you need to get it. And I'm like, Fuck off. Like, I really didn't want to get it. I didn't like what Facebook was. I didn't like social media in general, but I did it. And then I had a whole bunch of friends that, you know, I made working at the club that, you know, and I was like, yeah, whatever. So when I moved away to Florida, from Florida to Toronto, uh, back, oh God, 2011, 2010, 2011. Um, you know, I had made some friends in Toronto and I was like, okay, fine, I'll keep it. You know, and I was, you know, updating things. Like, I was seeing my son and doing, you know, goofy shit. You know, posting about things as it went along. But it, I never found it to be like, you know... It was just like a cursory thing about your life. And I was just like, it just really amounted to nothing. Like, if I go back and look at it, I'm like... I look at this stuff, I'm like, it's just so banal. It's like, it has absolutely, like, little to no meaning in the grander scheme of things, you know. But whatever, it was important for me to post it back then. So I just don't. I don't post anything on there. I I use it now to promote <laughs> my DJ streams. It's like you know, if anybody wants to come check it out, come on. You know, and that's what I post. Like, and then I use it to chat with some friends. You know, and that's fine. So my friends like to use it as a communication tool, and I'm fine with it that way. So I mean, that's the only reason I maintain it. Is that I do have some friends that just prefer it, and it, it is what it is, and you know, and 
who am I to, you know, make any judgment? What in the hell's going on up there? Did you see that? Because I certainly saw something spinning around up there. Um, but yeah, so I was on Facebook a lot more today than I wanted to be. Okay, so there is a thing on the rocks. Okay, I see him. You guys see him? There's a monster. Oh god. Did we get everything? <laughs> this is bizarre. Okay, we are full up on those. Is there... Oh yeah, there's a bunch of dudes up here. Ta-da! Everything is groovy. I'm happy. Okay, well... That was a treat. I'm very happy that we got that all taken care of today. Follow the road. Um, I have a couple more episodes recorded of uh, Outriders. Um, I just kind of had a bee in my bonnet the other day and I recorded a bunch. Uh, so I've been kind of taking it easy. Um, I'll have... That'll be daily until I've completed it. Um, I like the game. I not get it does not get tons of views. I know it's getting a lot of hate, but like like any other game, I, I think that there's hate on for a lot of games these days, and I just can't justify not having it on my channel if I'm enjoying the game. So for me, it's like if if it's fun, it's here. You know, it's like why do you play Cube World? Because I like it. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Um, I think this is going to be right under here, right? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where this is. It'd be right here. Interesting. Okay. Like, it, it kind of cracks me up that it acts like solid, the water. <laughs> like, it does not behave like water at all. There's no physics in the game. Like, you go uphill in this game <laughs> in, on water. It's just broken. But, yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, it's like, I'll play any game on the channel if I'm enjoying it. Um, Humble Choice came out. Um, there's a bunch of games that are on there. Uh, I'm just going to probably... There's 12 games in total. Um, I'll probably do an episode of each one of them over the course of the next little while. Um, a lot of games that I'm actually really interested in this time around, so I'm kind of stoked. Um, Shenmue 3 is included, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm not going to lie. Um, I enjoyed Shenmue, the original game, when it first came out. Not too sure how good the new version is, because um, I'm not too sure how well... That's that's a fucking pyramid. I'm not too sure... I'm sorry, I've not seen a pyramid in the game, so I'm very excited right now. Um, so yeah, Shinmu 3, if they kept it to the original, it could be interesting, but I'm not too sure how well that style of gameplay works. We will see. Um, it's also a racing game, F... 2020 or something uh, F1 racing um, I have had the series I've got like four or five of them never installed one of them I keep on getting them in bundles and just keep on meaning to play them I know that they're phenomenally well received games so I mean, it's kind of silly me to have a racing game and not play it um, but yeah there's a bunch of stuff on there that I'm kind of interested in so yeah over the course of the next little while expect to see a lot of of random Humble Choice games showing up. Um, they're available for the rest of the month, so if you are interested in, uh, you know, grabbing the bundle, you know, and you want to see what the games look like, I will have links in my description. I do get affiliate links for Humble Choice, um, you know, but it's by no means anything that I am going to ask anybody to, you know, to do. 
you do click on it, great. If you don't, great. If you just want to go to Humble and grab the bundle yourself or get the games without having to go through in the link, I'm 100% agreeing. I have no problems with that. So, just letting you guys know. But I will be playing it here. Uh, I'm really stoked to see a pyramid. Um, not gonna lie. It has been way too long. Did I even... I, I did I did I pray at that shrine back there? I didn't do a damn thing. And there's oh man, this is okay. So what we're going to do today is um, I'm not going to go. I'm going to go into it, but I'm not going to um, complete it. Uh, I don't think I have the time, and I don't feel like I want to. I feel need to enjoy it for what it is because again this is the first pyramid I have seen in the game since I started playing it over a year and a half ago and pyramids were my favorite thing in alpha I didn't think he brought them back I was not ever thinking I was going to see one again so to say that I'm a little shocked to see one is an understatement uh, these are usually good dungeons, so it's going to be one of the ones that's going to take 15 minutes or so, I would assume. But we are going to go into it and climb it. I don't know if you get into it the same way you did before, which is going to be interesting. Hello, can I climb? Thank you. Uh, I used to have to go up to the top, and there was ways in from there. I don't see that here. This should be interesting. We're going to climb it for sure. But you would climb up to the top and there were holes in the top of it. And you could go through. There would be like a little hallway. And here it's not that at all. Did he take all the fun out of them? Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed the old way of getting into these. Um, they were fun. Uh, this just feels like the rest of the dungeons, which is kind of sad because the others were so great. Um, when you have such fond memories of an old version of it. It's just, it just kind of saddens me. But anyway, I will end things here. We are good. Things are good. Uh, we will complete this dungeon on Friday. And I will see you guys then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all.